Okay, people are asking about the uh, turbo boost controller. So, just show that real quick. Okay, turbo boost controller. Yeah, I took that off yesterday. I'm gonna clean that up a bit, and uh, I'm guessing it's probably equally or more efficient without the shroud around it. Um, I'm starting to remove a lot of stuff that's just for looks. Okay, so you have your wastegate there. The line from the wastegate comes like this, comes up through there. I just ran it through there to kind of keep them from bouncing around too much. The turbo outlet sends pressure to here. Then this controls how much pressure is allowed to go here, to come out through here. And it doesn't matter which way you connect these. Okay, is all it does is limit the amount of pressure that can get between the two. So it goes out, so I put it to go out here. Then it goes out this one. And then down to the wastegate right here. Take runway five, 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 five. For those wondering about shimming the wastegate, is all you do is you remove, there's a bolt right here. Uh, I believe it's 13 millimeter, 13 or 14 millimeter. And then you've got one right below it, just down there, you can't really see it right now. But they're pretty easy to get to. You just take this intake tube off, you pull the bolts out. The most difficult part about shimming the wastegate is not dropping your copper washers. So I've got three washers on, bo on either bolt, which gives about three millimeters of spacing. And uh, so far that seems to do the trick. My boost sensor line, T-splitter. So <clears throat> boost comes from the turbo here and it can go through here and up to the boost control sensor, which is stashed right there. And then this is a filter to filter air going to it for obvious reasons. It's probably pretty sensitive. So there you go. If you have any more questions about how to install your boost controller, let me know, but that should be pretty clear. All right, thanks for watching. I still can't seem to get my boost to go above uh, one bar, which I think is around 14 PSI. So what I'm gonna do today probably is block off the, block this off entirely so it doesn't do anything. Just plug this right here so that the turbo's not losing any pressure and just see how high it boosts. Uh, carefully, of course, carefully and gradually. Uh, yeah, because with this thing completely closed, oh yeah, so adjusting. It's, uh, it's reversed. Clockwise actually loosens, which gives you uh, less pressure in the system. It releases more pressure to the wastegate. And then if you tighten this, if you tighten this completely counterclockwise, it seals it shut. So there's no, there's nothing going between, there's no pressure going between these two points here. So that's how that works, if it works.